Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It is probably around 10.30. I'm about to get ready to have brunch. Go have brunch. It is a beautiful day today. Let me let you guys get a peek at this beautiful, beautiful, pleasant day right now, but it's about to be humid. Look at the bay today. blue sky probably about close to 80 degrees right now I think it's gonna to get to about 90 today people are already on the water and if all goes well today guys guess what I am supposed to go on a boat ride I'm so hoping that that happens. Uh, one of the guys we've been networking with down here is going to try to get a yacht today and um, take me out on the water. So that would be a great experience. I'm hoping that I'm able to do that. I'm hoping I'm able to be able to do that and share that experience with you guys to wrap up the vlog. I'm probably going to wrap it up this evening because I will be flying out prayerfully, you guys. Uh, I'll be hearing back from me tomorrow sometimes, tomorrow evening or either maybe Tuesday when I get up one of the vlogs. If you're one of my exclusive members, you've already got a sneak peek of the vlog, so make sure you go check that out if you have not, my members. But um, y'all probably already got that anyway, so I know all my, my members. And let me just say here on the channel that I want to thank all of the new members who have signed up to support the channel. I appreciate you so much. And all of those that just view on a day-to-day -day basis who like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. This has been a great experience. Um, uh, just maneuvering and learning um, and growing the channel. I'm um, about to switch it up a little bit and share with you guys my content of traveling and um, starting a uh, a new life and um, reinventing myself, retiring over 50, not over 60, but over 50, doing an early retirement and, and, and working for myself and enjoying things in life because life is short. So hope you guys will continue to support me in that journey and that it will encourage you in some way who may be at that point where you're ready to just do that as well or make some changes in your life even if it's not the same things that I'm doing but something different but yeah but anyway I'm about to get up out of here let me show you I'm gonna show you if I can where I'm going you guys can see like over there is where I am going for brunch I zoomed in pretty close so it might be A little too close for you guys to see but anyway let me close out this vlog and I'm just wearing a simple jumpsuit today uh, something airy in case we do go on the boat and then I got some business to take care of go look at some properties and I'll get back with you guys later bye
sunshine is gone. No sunshine, but she's gone. So after brunch, I had to take care of a little business. So I started looking around at different properties. And for me, I need to find a place that's full of nature, a lot of greenery, lots and lots of color and water so that I can detach from the current state of affairs. That's even if things don't change. It is so important that I can be in a place where I can find my own space, my own peace and quiet and serenity to shut out the madness. And I stumbled across this beautiful community. Oh my gosh. I had to stop and get out and just walk the grounds. Even though I knew the office would be closed today, but it's definitely on the list to come back and check out. It was backed up on a waterfront. It was beautiful. It had boat docks, hammocks, and it was so lush, so green. So many beautiful trees and plants and colorful flowers. It was like Eden, and I found myself drawn to it, so I checked it out. So I'm going to keep looking today, but just wanted to share this place with you all today. Hope you like it. So when I first stopped, we went to Ybor City and we were dropped off at the Centennial Park where we got a chance to just view through the gate the memorial they had for the fallen heroes of 9-11. I thought that was amazing. I always love researching the history of a city whenever I move there. So this was definitely on the radar for me. My friends wasn't too into it, of course. <laughs> But I thought it was interesting to know a little bit of history of how this part of Tampa was developed and the history behind Ybor City and cigars and the immigrants that are there. So it is now known for its amazing nightlife, which I'm not a nightlife person that way, but I definitely like to check it, the scene out during the day, maybe do lunch at one of the local spots it's always good to just try out something new so yeah we just took a walk through Ybor City just a little bit before it got wild and crazy that night <laughs>
guys, I wanted to show you something really cute. This is my bedroom. Now, y'all excuse this bed. But check this out, guys. I just discovered this now. I've been in here for two days, and I'm just discovering this. Hold on. Let me show can't even see. Let's see if that's the right one. No, that's not it. Check that light out on the bed, guys. Isn't that cool? And if you turn out, let's see. Ain't that cool? I wish it was a way to turn this light out and leave the bed on. That would be really cool. It's kind of junky. Y'all see my mess all over the bed. But anyway, I gave you guys a room tour at the beginning of the vlog when I first got here. But I didn't show y'all that. I didn't notice that. I was just like, I was just fooling around with the lights because there's so many light switches everywhere. And, and I just got the pressing. And I'm like, well, look at that. How cute is that? <laughs> anyway, I know I'm goofy. All right, guys. Good night. See you guys on Sunday. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry I had to end the vlog this way, but I forgot to end it. I got so busy enjoying myself that I didn't, I didn't end the vlog. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I thank you so much for watching.